An Easton based organization helping parents with kids in the hospital will mark its 10th anniversary in April. And today's Connecticut Families, News 8's Sarah Cody introduces us to Brady's Smile. Always. Yeah, no matter always. what, right? It yeah. Was always smiling. Little Brady Hinton was born in 2006 with a variety of severe medical conditions, including heart defects and kidney problems. He never ate a day in his entire life. He was fed through a tube in his stomach. Ultimately, we went out to Children's Hospital in Pittsburgh for a kidney transplant where my mom was the donor and the kidney transplant failed within four hours. Brady died on his second birthday. Do you want good night, Moon? Just one month later, parents Matt and Annie Hinton founded Brady Smile, an organization that helps families when they're in and out of the hospital. Uh, it'd be little things like um, people bringing us a dinner at the hospital that made a huge difference or a nurse who's handed me a Sudoku book whenever Brady was sleeping. That goes to good night, Moon. They started packing these comfort bags filled with necessities, a tradition they now continue with their daughters. You know, there was no problem for us to go get a hotel room for a night we need to stay, but we saw people sleeping in their cars, right? We saw people eating out of vending machines. So they arranged for meals to be delivered along with blankets. Brady Smile now works with 16 hospitals in eight states. In 10 years, thanks to donations, the Hintons have distributed 20,000 bags. We've also given out almost, what, 20,000? Almost, yeah. Blankets now fed about 11,000 people in the hospital. Show us. Show the us. girls never knew Brady, but every day they see what his short life means, how he lives on through the generosity of his parents and countless volunteers. This is 10 years of new friendships and new experiences and new ways of giving back and keeping him alive through this, right? Keeping that smile alive that we cherish and we love and inspired so much of this. Just getting that one note from a family who, who experiences it and, and sees the value in what we're doing is, is all we ever need. This month, the Hintons are making 120 Easter baskets to deliver to two hospitals in Connecticut and one in New York. They'll be filled with candy, books, crafts, and love. With Connecticut Families, Sarah Cody, News 8.